Joe Rogan said this. <coughs> and it inspired me so much that I made this picture of him. First, I went on the internet and found the best picture I could. I downloaded it and put it into Photoshop and made a black and white reference picture. I deepened the shadows and made the highlights lighter so that I could get a more contrasted image. I was looking at this the whole time that I made my string art piece. Next, you can see me sketching out the artboard. First, I need a circle of wood. Then, I need to put some nails on the perimeter of the circle. Then the last step is to paint the whole thing black and put a nice edge on it. On second thought, let's make that black chrome. Let me show you the process of painting these things. It's pretty simple, but here you can get up close and personal with the artboard. You can see the nails hammered around the perimeter and you can see me spraying it with this chrome molotov paint. The fat cat makes the paint scatter everywhere, so it was a pretty simple and fast job. And there you go, the artboard's finished. I hung it on my wall and eventually later I balanced it with some weights. This is gonna take a lot of string. I bought three kilometers of string. Okay, now we can get started. All the preparations are made, the artboard is completed and the string is set. So, you can see me attaching it to the first nail and then progressing onto the second one, the next one, the next one, the next one. In total, I'm going to be using 2000 of these knots. I had to speed up the video a lot since this took almost 15 or 16 hours. Spirits were high, this was at about 15 minutes in, and I was making good progress. Or so I thought. I didn't realize that I had made a mistake when I was numbering my nails, and I miscounted by 10. So my image is going to look like crap if I continue doing this. Uh, and you can see me, this is the exact point that I realized that I messed up. Unfortunately, I had to take down all the strings that I have attached until this point. So basically almost an hour's worth of work gone. I'm not gonna make the same mistake again, so I'm counting each nail manually and making sure that everything is in order. This sucks. I worked a lot on this and I have to start again. I kind of want to throw it into garbage, but I'm still gonna persevere. But for this, I'm not gonna do any commentary, uh, only some music. Okay, enjoy guys. This thing is super weird. I had to sleep uh, with it in my room for one night and it was very scary. Like the scene from Courage the Cowardly Dog, you know, the big face. Yeah, and the strings feel really springy and spring-like. I think it looks really cool. And it's almost three-dimensional. Like, uh, if you walk around it, it follows you around. So, there you go. That's the finished product. I hope you like it. It was a super tough job and it really doesn't make any sense to make something like this. But I think it was fun and I enjoyed it. 
Uh, I was suffering, but I enjoyed it.